What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Farming Simulator 2017 video and in today's video we are going to be doing quite a bit of things actually. So I'm going to start, we're starting out this, we're going to start out by getting our uh, 3500 HD Silverado all nice and pretty like making it sparkle and shine but uh so what we're going to do today is we're also we're going to get another tractor, we're going to get a John Deere tractor this time around. Um, we're going to replace uh, the last of our Case IH stuff. And then also, we are going to go extract some slurry and turn it into digestate and then extract that back. Um, I'll show everybody how to do it. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Most of you probably know what I'm talking about. Or if you, most of you don't, you'll find out. Um, but here we go. Let's just... There we go. Got this all shiny now. Alright, looks like Helper B has a full grain tank. Alright, let's go help out Helper B really quick. Since, you know, they're helping us and whatnot. We're gonna go just drop this off over here by the field and let them uh, empty into it. I think we got, yeah, a whole nother thing of corn coming along. Say, our potatoes are almost done over there. It's, uh, they're just finishing up the work that they were doing for last episode. So we got about 10% here. Oh, wait a second. I think we're talking about the wrong helper here. What do we got here? Who's this? This is helper H. All right. So we need to go over to the potatoes and get them. That's what it is. All right, let's see if this, will that neck hit? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I, I need to go over to the right here. And there we go, barely got it. All right, so we're just gonna let this fill up for just a second and then we're gonna grab the other tipper and we're gonna go empty the potatoes. And then we're gonna go down to the uh, shop we'll just teleport down there because we got a few things to buy anyways so it's not that big of a deal uh, I'm pretty sure that guy might be able to get this entire field because it's such a large combine all right let's um let's detach this let's go get our small tipper the original one we started the game out with I think we still have it yeah we do um where is she at right there there it is doesn't have anything in it, does it? Nope. All right, and then um, I also learned another thing. So, uh, like after the last episode we uh, we had, I was just going through doing a bunch of more stuff with the potatoes, just trying to kind of start stockpiling, like I said I was gonna do, because everybody knew I was gonna try and that. Um, and what we did, or what I figured out is, so it takes roughly three rows from this machine to fill up the planter. So always try and plant at least like three rows. To that's how you like break even on your stuff. It's kind of weird, but yeah, that's kind of, that's basically how you break even, and you don't have to uh, go back through and rebuy all the seeds again. Uh, where are we going? There we are. Oh, I love the look of the potatoes, though, guys. They're so cool. Like the way like it's just it literally just looks like a bunch of little potatoes. Like the actual. Uh, like inside the bin of the tipper, it doesn't look that great, but like when the tip, uh, potatoes come flying off that line right there, I just think it looks so cool. All right, it's just about done here. Wow, this thing holds a lot, or no, not it doesn't hold a lot, but there we go. That was like two or three rows there, so I'm gonna have to be running back and forth here quite often now that I think about it. But um, yeah. So potatoes have a high, 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 high yield. So we're probably going to hit around 80,000 yield for these potatoes. Oh no. Potatoes not accepted here. Guys, what do I do? Oh no, this isn't good. How do I store potatoes? I would never thought about this one before. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, maybe I'll go look off camera to figure it out, but if I forget to, I think, yeah, I think I'll just wait and see what everybody says in the uh, comments. Comment down below. Guys, let me know, what should I do with these potatoes? Like, can you store them? Or like, do you just leave them like out? Like, I want to put them in something where I can just drive underneath it and just pick it right back up, but. I don't know. Oh man, that is really weird now. I don't I don't know what we're gonna do. Alright, let me know guys, how do you store potatoes? I need to find this out. That's so weird. Alright, anyways, anyways, alright. 
So slurry. We're going to do some slurry today. So we're going to go. I'm using this uh, universal technic pack right now. It, yes, it is a mod, but it is a very, very well put together mod. It has basically it's just a bunch of stuff like this, like a bunch of containers, storage. What's this? A hook lift trailer? Oh, that's how you. Okay, I got this. I understand. Um, so basically, though, what we're gonna be doing today is so we're gonna get the slurry, and we're gonna try and figure out which one of these is the best. So ten thousand liters, twenty-two thousand liters. Um, here, let's go. Let's go to the cows because the cows are have a lot of slurry right now. Yeah, let's run over here. So the cows have a lot of slurry over here. They have it like it's a decent amount. I think it's maybe 10, 20 percent. But I don't know exactly what that is for uh, the measurement. 15 percent. All right. What is that? It's 124,000 worth of slurry. Oh my gosh. That is so much slurry. So this little 10,000 ain't going, that's not going to cut it. That's, that's, that's 12 truckloads back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 30,000, that's a little bit better, but, oh, see, that'll cut the loads in half. And this, this is a trailer, so we want to be somewhere good, but we don't want to do something too big. So yeah, this is the trailer. And then these, uh, it's like the semi, you have to use a semi to pull that. And then these are all just hitch based attachments. Um, this one seems like you get a little bit more bang for the buck right here. 22,000, that's not too bad. You used to transport water and everything. All right, let's buy this one. Oh, we can change the color. All right, all right. Let's do, um, I'm trying to think of a cool color. You know what? What's that one? Let's try this one for the main. And we'll just leave the white. That's like a weird purplish dark red. I don't know. It's hard to, hard to explain. All right. Um, let's buy this. And then we're also going to go buy one more thing. Like I said, we're going to scroll all the way over here. We got some John Deere tractors here. All right. That's a big boy. Isn't that? That's a really big one, isn't it? I think this this is a really big one. This one's a it's a dually in the rear, and this is just a nice standard John Deere tractor, 222 horsepower. Let's see if this, yeah, that beats out the case. Yeah, that beats out the case by a lot. All right, so we're gonna go with this one. Uh, front loader, yes, of course. Engine setup. Um, how much? What does it give us for horsepower? Ooh, we got to bump that horsepower up. And you know what? Let's do rear twin wheels just, just so we can have something like that. Let's do it. All right. Whoa, a little laggy there. All right, so let's just uh, tab around. Come on. There she is. Oh, look at that. 49.55 John Deere. It's like already dirtied up and everything. Oh, it looks like it's got a little bit of rust in there. It's nice. It's old. It's been used. She has seen some stuff. Ooh, what's that? Oh, is that for? Just got the front loader, right? Yep, got the little front loader attachment. It's green. Everything will match good. All right. Ooh, and I like that color. Actually, we went with it's like a plum. Not even that. Not purple enough for plum, but all right. Whoa, it's got some crazy zoom in on it. All right. So we're gonna hook this guy up here. All right, we're gonna hook this up to this cot Technic pack, the universal. Oh yeah, this thing doesn't pull too bad. All right, so then, so we need to go, we're just gonna go collect some biogas. Or not biogas, slurry. Let's start out though. Let's start out with the pigs. We'll get about one load from the pit, or from the cows, I mean. We'll start with the cows, we'll get a load from the cows. And then we'll drop it off at the biogas plant, see how much money we make, and then we'll go and empty whatever the pigs have. Um, oh, don't want to hit that car. I feel like the pigs will have a lot less, mainly because I've had the pigs a lot less longer. Like the, I've never cleaned out the cow's slurry uh, fill, so or slurry tank, so it, it's definitely going to have a lot more in it. So let's just see. I'm assuming we just probably just back up right here. How's the cow's manure level doing too? Oh yeah, they don't have like any in there. All right. 
Open the cover. And all right, there we go. All right, refill. All right, in the bottom right, if you look, that is the. Uh, it's like a little. It's like a little tank in the bottom right that you see filling up. That is the uh, icon for slurry, if you did not know. All right, levels going down and all. Oh, it doesn't really look like they're going down, but they are if you look in the upper left-hand side. Wow, they're going down quite a bit. So it'll be just about done here. All right, so then we gotta go up to the McLean biogas plant. It's pretty much a straight shot from the cow pasture, so. That'll be nice. So let's take a first person. Let's check out this John Deere here. All right, let's go. Oh, this is so weird because I never use first person view anymore. Okay, there we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. So, hey, these mirrors look good. Check both ways. No cop, no stop, baby. Here we go. All right, so let's go up here to the right, and then we're gonna wait and take a left and cross by field 22. A little shortcut over there. Alrighty. Oh man, if I got in a car accident here, there'd just be a bunch of liquid manure spilled all over the road. That would stink for weeks. That would be awful. You think it's bad when you drive by a skunk? Oh, oh no. You you do not know anything until you've yeah yeah. That'd be bad. That'd be real bad. I'm right, gonna hop the curb here. Got the dually wheels doing some work. Oh hey, it's got like a pressure gauge on the back. Oh gosh. All right, let's go. All right, so yeah, now from here, basically just a straight shot. And Helper B has a full grain tank, but that's the uh, potatoes. Ooh, does this thing have a horn on it? Ah, oh, that's a letdown. I also want to be like a train horn. All right, that's okay, though. It's not that big of a deal. Got some good AC. I really like this tractor, actually. I see this, like, whenever I think of tractor, this is what I think of. I think of just this... Just a good old John Deere tractor, mainly because where I where I live and where like I've grown up, like you guys know the squad, uh, where we live, it's pretty much like John Deere everything, pretty much, because there's a John Deere, uh, what do you call it, like like a production plant, like the combines and all that stuff, right here in our town, and I've actually toured that before that plant, and it is giant. It's like a mile, like total. So big that like, you guys would be amazed how large this place is. So yeah, like everybody around here is John Deere everything. Like any of the farmers, most of them have John Deere everything. Except for I did say I KSI H one time. All right. Now we are here. Let's figure out where we gotta go now. Is this the? Uh, this is definitely the digestate. I think that's digestate, right? Oh, it'll tell you. All right, let's go find out where we gotta go. Got like a little weighing platform and everything. This is so cool. All right. So let's see if we can empty here. Can we empty? Let's see. Come on. That's digestate. All right. Alright, so what happens is, so you got the digestate, and then you got slurry. So slurry um, is what you start out with. You give the slurry here, they pay you for it. And then, um, I think it, I don't know if it's instantaneous, or you have to wait a little bit, we'll check here in a second. But it gets turned into digestate after it has sat for a while, is what I'm assuming. It's got a little mixing tank right here. Oh, stop right there, we can unload. Alright, we are now unloading. Oh, dude, whoa, check that out. Oh, look at it. It's just like spilling straight onto the ground. Probably hook up a bunch of hoses and pipes to it. But yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's just pouring out of there. All right, let's go hop back in. We're at about 50% at the current moment. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, so we're pretty much just gonna wait for this thing to empty now. Does it tell us up here? Anything? Where's that? I wonder if when we stop, that'll pop up and say something. I feel like it, it'll read a number for us. Stop overloading. Hmm. So you don't earn too much money from this stuff, but it's not too bad. Yeah, look at that. $2,300. That's basically for just giving them liquid poop. So, I don't, it's, I'm never going to use it. Might as well make a few extra bucks off of is what I'm thinking. All right. Digestate. Okay, so yes, it does take a bit for the digestate, um, to, like, process is what we, as you can see here. Like, you see the number right there? Um, it's just like slowly moving up on the left side, slowly ticking up, not even at 1% yet. That thing is probably giant. Like, you could probably fit a million in there. So I don't think that we'll ever fill that, but I'll let that digestate sit, and I'll eventually come back. Look at all these bunkers. I wonder where all these bunkers are for. Yeah, I'll let that digestate sit. We'll go uh, run a few more laps around here and pick up some, some stuff from the... Uh, pigs here. We'll go get some of the slurry from the pigs. I wonder if the pigs are even over 20,000 yet. I feel like they aren't, mainly because they haven't, like, really been fed too much recently. I think they're at... Check how many pigs we're at. 23? Yeah, we don't really have that much pigs right now. I need to get all their... I need to just sit down one of these days and just do everything over again because... Yeah, after the, uh... The time lapse I did, that messed everything up, but it's fine. And we're just gonna... Oh, this thing's making its way up. Look at that. I was actually kind of thinking I probably wasn't going to be able to go up here. Oh, boy. All right, where are we at? Okay. So the slurry is right here. It's not a big tank like the uh, cows. Slurry fill level 1%, 9,000. See, I knew it wasn't going to be anything. Um, I'm trying to see if it'll fill. There we go. You gotta back it right up to it. Alright, so, yep, as you can see in there, there's the slurry. It's got some got some boards over it so nobody falls in it, I assume. Got a nice motor pumping everything out. Probably pushes everything out right through there. But, yeah, as you can see, guys, down there. Sounds like she's done. Let's see, do we have slurry levels around here? We do not. Oh, I was hoping that they would show slurry levels. All right, 9,000 though. That's not bad. And what we are going to do is... I don't think that the sheep produce slurry. I could be wrong, guys. I could be wrong here. Don't cut my head off for it. But we're going to check really quick here. Um, animals, so slurry. All right, so it doesn't really tell us. All right. Let's just run over. I'll get this uh, pumping out over there. I'll get making some money off of that. And then what we'll do is we'll just teleport over to the sheep. I'll check around the sheep area really quick, see if there's any slurry around there. And if there is, then we'll go over, we'll haul it back, and we'll make some money out of it. I feel like the sheep will have even less than the pigs, though, so it might not even be worth it yet. But I just want to, I'm curious. So we're going to go over there, we're going to find out. Uh, mainly because some of you may know, some of you may not know. I just want to make sure everybody sees it. Oh. And I went past it. <laughs> I, I keep thinking it's that one right there. But no, that's the Digestate. Which is a really weird name, but... Hey, whatever. Alrighty. Man, I love this tractor. I love the rear wheels on it. The dualies. Alright, let's hop out. Can we see a little stream? Oh, Wow. So it pumps out whichever way you're standing. That is really neat, actually. I really like that. All right, well, while that's pumping, while it's just going to town, let's go over here to our sheep pasture. All right, we're going to check all around here. How are you guys doing? How are you? What is this? Do I still have four sheep? Probably haven't. Six sheep. Okay. Did I, have I always had six? I don't remember. I don't remember how many sheep I had. All I know is I want to fill one of these pastures one of these days. <laughs> Oh, hey, chill, chill. Is there any slurry around here? I don't think there's any slurry here, guys. Yeah, see, they agree. Got a thousand dollars from that. That's not too, not too shabby. Ooh, we got a whole thing of wool here. 
Oh man, I need to definitely come get that. Does it tell me over here? How much is this wool worth? You guys know wool's worth a lot, right? Eleven thousand eight hundred and sixty-three dollars at the moment. Holy crap. That is a lot of money for this one thing here. Granted, that probably is like super compact, tightly woven, all that wool. All that stuff. That's probably crazy though. It's probably crazy amounts of money. Come on. Where are we at? Alright, there she is. Alright, guys. So, I think we're going to end it here. Uh, next video, I might be doing some stuff with Digeste. I might get... Um, can, is the, can this... I know, this is a slurry tank. This, this is only for transporting slurry, by the way, guys. Or transporting any liquids, because it's a universal tank. Um... I might use it on water. I feel kind of wrong using it on water after filling it up with uh, a bunch of poop. So, ugh, I don't know. I, I like my animals, and I don't want to do that to them. But I don't know. I might I might do it, because all, all I have is the other little one. But, uh, I don't know. So, I might get a slurry sprayer for next episode or sometime in the future. I just have a lot of options for fertilizers, like manure and fertilizer and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I might. I might not. Don't really know yet. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please hit that sub button. We are climbing here rapidly. I think we're just about at 17,000 um, as of when I'm recording this. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm getting super pumped here to see us hit that 20,000 mark. So we're slowly moving there, but, but we're doing it at a good pace. And if you guys like the video, please hit that like button. Let me know you guys love what I'm doing here and it would be greatly appreciated. So thank you guys for watching and staying tuned today, and I will see you all in the next one.